Yeah, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy ARP back with another Sorry is True podcast. Sit down. We here, we hanging out. Y'all see the title. It's Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. Hope the day is going smooth for everybody. Uh, I got a couple, couple extra to hang out today. So let me jump into a couple comments. Let me see what's going on. I see everybody starting to come in. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Contract off the, I guess that means you off the. You sign a one nigga that signed to another, sign a three. Now that's bad luck. Damn that's even the odds now. You better off selling this hard now. You call that living out your dreams. You can't fly without your wings. You get it. Ah ha 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 ha. I ain't going to lie, man. The um, Waiting on this whole Drake and J. Cole thing to continue to unfold got me playing old, old Drake beefs. I had to pull up the um, the Pusha T Exodus video the other day. One of the rawest videos ever said to allegedly have real fiends um, doing real drugs and all that in the, in the video. You know, the whole good music and cash money and little wayne and push it all that back and forth and drake being involved and all them shots between them i, I double back y'all. i'll spun the block real quick and said let me, let me pull some of this old stuff up all right what's going on in here i see members um edge transit salute to you homie i see you uh let me maximize my screen a little bit so i can see that two minute rounds right, we're gonna talk okay okay all right, I got more members in the building. Salute, love. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I see y'all. I see y'all. All right, let's get into it. Aver versus Swamp. I did put a, a video up earlier about this, this announcement. Grudge match that many of us have been waiting to see. It does not feel like it's, it's, it's too late. That happens sometimes. Sometimes we get certain ba battles booked, just like the fight game. It's like, damn, like, should we have gotten Mayweather and Pacquiao maybe a couple years sooner? It doesn't feel like that's the case with Averb and Swamp. I see them online doing their thing. They're going back and forth. Um, it's a real, it's a real grudge. These guys don't like each other for real in real life. So this is um this is one of the biggest announcements so far in 2024. So shout out to Chrome 23 for putting this together. Um, who knows if we would have ever gotten this match, but somebody over there in the offices of Chrome 23 that made it happen. So shout out to everybody over there, man. This is a goodie. I can't wait until this goes down. I will be on the stream. Speaking of stream, I'm going to touch about, uh, the pay-per-view purchases as well about that, about that matchup. All right. I want to talk about the 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 buzz and some of the controversy and some of the the talk that you see going around about i just pulled up one of the members and he happened to say something about the two minute rounds right i see that going around a lot about this matchup two minute rounds why it's it's, it's a grudge match we've been waiting over a year for this battle this is averb this is swamp swamp's a a, a big name battle rapper averb's a mount rushmore guy main event of the card grudge all of that why is it only two minute rounds? What's going on? So the first thing we're going to address about that is confidentiality. Something that doesn't happen enough in this industry, battle rap industry. I'm, tr I'm trying so much not to call this shit a fucking culture. I'm trying to change that. I just want to call it an industry, right? This small niche market slash industry, confidentiality, contracts professionalism um it's out the fucking window we all know that when it comes to battle rap my first question is how does two minute rounds of this battle even become public in the first place if you know the answer to that please drop it in the comments i don't know the answer to that i want to know how that makes it to the public in the first place so what tends to happen behind the scenes is you have negotiations right you heard of that before negotiations are confidential they're meant to be private they're meant to be kept behind the scenes 
So being that this battle is announced, this fly is out, the, 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 the two artists are already going at it online again. They're cooking it up again. It's good to see the, the, the disliking between these two guys because it's a real grudge match. And they're talking, they trash to each other. It's expected. But two minute rounds, when we set up a battle behind the scenes, right? That's the league, league owner, maybe partners, the battle rappers. You negotiate things like price. Maybe even you discuss things like um, uh, 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 YouTube drops. You discuss things like round limits. All of that goes into negotiations. Certain battlers, they want to negotiate based on how long they have to rap. Okay? Spoiler alert for anybody that just started following Battle Rap yesterday. The, the, the I guess, the opinion. Because Big K broke that shit when he, when he battled a -Ward. And I'm going to get to that in a second, too. But the general understanding, especially from a league side, is if you book Big K, T-Rex, or Arsenal, especially those three guys, their opponents better stay within the time limits. Because those three guys, they will cut you off. Big K, he don't play that. He don't play that. He'll cut you off. You know, lately, he hasn't given, given a shit. He's just been showing up with his potent material all last year during his champion of the year run i didn't hear him complain about his opponents not a single time but years in the past big k could be a guy that'll cut you off arsenal we've seen him he'll turn to the league he did it to me versus um in the show off battle which was hilarious because he turns to me and starts motioning about show off going over the timeline and then his that i cut show off off trying to be professional and and respect arsenal complaining and then he goes over the fucking time limit on Arsenal in the next fuck. I mean, on show off in the next round. It's just like, this is a fucking mess of times. Uh, Rex, it happened uh, in a booking that I did with him and Rosenberg Raw. Rex was cutting into Raw's rounds. Uh, we all remember uh, Rex versus Cortez. That was a big opportunity for Cortez. Cortez, you know, sometimes doesn't get the biggest looks, but and that was a very big stage, uh, big, big card look for Cortez. I remember people were saying that. That was the narrative. How y'all going to do that to Cortez during such a big look? I remember Smack came out on the stage during the battle. Yo, man, these niggas signed a contract. That, this ain't, don't boo me. Don't blame me. They signed the contracts, right? Those three guys, we tend to be careful if you're an opponent and you're going up against them. It's funny, too, because Award even had some of those bars in his first round versus Big K. Big K decided to show up with a fucking tornado and said, ha ha, fooled you. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Right. So um, as far as people stick into the time limits, um, there's a million scenarios where you can't trust it. Right. Especially in a main event. You watch Hitman versus Calico. Hitman's going in his first round. Seems like a pretty long round um, towards um, the end of his round. Even Calico says something because um. Hitman says something like, nah, fuck that. I'm going to overkill. And he starts rapping again. And then between rounds, you hear Calico say, on, it's in the footage. Calico's like, damn, I didn't know he's rapping that long. And you hear Hitman respond. He said, it's a grudge match. It's justifications when it's, a, when it's a grudge match, a main event. You just don't know how to show up. If you're not the type of artist that's going to be cutting people off and, and ruining the battle and ruining the footage, you don't know what to prepare for. The classic example is Charlie Clips versus X Factor. People used to literally say that. Don't Charlie Clips me or don't X Factor me, right? The way that Charlie Clips went off on X Factor, it's, it's a moment in battle rap history when it comes to time limits. But battlers tend to negotiate off of time limits for two reasons. Number one, you have certain battles that say, what I'm going to write is, 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 is based on what I want to be paid. It's based on my time. I got I to gotta write this material. I got to memorize it. I got to rehearse it. I got to show up. I got to perform it. Um, if you want a five minute round, I'd like to be paid more. There's justifications there, but then you got a whole crop of battle rappers. That's just like, look, a battle's a battle, man. You do whatever the hell you want. I don't care what you do. You still got to beat me. Right. Aver, you know, he listened to murder Mook, which was contracted for an unlimited third round. He listened to murder Mook rap for 20 plus minutes in his third round. And then he closes out his third round saying, we don't rap that long. I'm gone. Right. He damn near prepared for it. He kind of knew that it was going to be a long round or some of the rounds was going to be long. So there's all these examples. 
But once again, people negotiate off of it. Then you have the tactical side of it where you have battles that feel like if I rap what I'm coming to the table with for two minutes and you rap three, three minutes, the fans might think that you're going to win or that you won the round versus the people that don't give a shit, right? And like, yo, you ain't going to beat my rounds regardless. So it's all based on the battle. The battle is different, but I still go back to the first question, which is that type of stuff is only discussed behind the scenes during negotiations. It is confidential. If you have your round limits in your contract, which 99% of these leagues do, why does it become public and who mentions it that the rounds is two minutes? Because as you see, people start talking about it. And they start, start even talking about it in a negative light. But how does that become public? I'll tell you how it becomes public nine out of 10 times. Battlers try to use that as an angle. Battlers that wouldn't mind writing a little bit more, they come out against their opponent and be like, I wanted three round, three minute rounds. Why you now tell the people, tell the fans, it's a way to just create narratives in, in the lead up to the battle, right? And once again, certain people fear that if you have more material than me, I'm going to lose the round. Everybody's different. But that's the first question. How does it even become public? If you sign a confidential contract, battle rappers, leagues too, keep your mouth shut about these type of details. There's business tied to these details. It's a confidential, professional contract for a reason. Keep your mouth shut, okay? Keep your mouth. There's no reason to talk about the round limits. Now, I know a lot of fans, bloggers, media, they want to feel like they're getting their money's worth. Cool. I get it. So I'm going to leave that to my third point about getting your money's worth out of a two-minute round, um, a, a, a three-minute round, whatever the case may be. But here's something to make clear for y'all. A verb versus swamp is not a two-minute round battle. Let me repeat it. It is not a two minute round battle. I don't know who said it or why or how that became public, despite it should have been confidential, but it's not. Contracts for that battle is 230 plus grace. Okay. I wouldn't have even said a name. She was like, no, no, I want you to tell these people a couple things for me, AR. It's coming from Rem, the person that books it. 230 plus grace, 30 second grace, which technically means. They're three minute rounds for anybody that has that 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 standard of saying most battles, if not a main event, at least needs to be three three minute rounds. Well, these guys within their contracts have three minutes to write to. OK, two thirty plus grace. It's not a two minute round. All right. So let's make that clear. Let's stop that. Let's kill that once and for all. Let's kill that once and for all. Third point. I need people to stop automatically stereotyping when there's proof out there on certain battlers just going straight to the time time limits what you guys are doing are you're casting blind stereotypes and feedback negative feedback at that how many battle rappers are out there that'll give you a classic battle or classic rounds in two minutes you know that was kind of like for for a while like Damn near standard on King of the Dot. It felt like everything that they was doing was two minute rounds. You know, you could go to a lot of leagues and get a lot of battles, you know, on paper, on contract, and you guys just never hear about it. Right. So here's an example for you guys. This to me is just like, shut up. Let's stop complaining when we get something that we've been asking for, especially when it's not two minute rounds to begin with. Right. But even if it was two minute rounds, we dropped Ill Will versus Averb. A lot of people are saying that's an early battle of the year contender. A lot of people look at those Ill Will rounds and say, man, thank you. A lot of people look at those Averb rounds and say, man, thank you. You know what that contract was? I'm the one that wrote it. Two-minute rounds. That's what the contract was that went to both battle rappers. They showed up how they showed up. Did anybody in the comments on Twitter and blogs in the media and feedback on, on Instagram, did anybody jump out and complain about the contracts or what was agreed upon before they even hit the stage, right? Swamp Averb example. 
about the round lengths of Ilwill and Averb. Nobody even asked a question. Averb and Will didn't say anything about the round limits. They showed up and they rapped. They did their thing. But the contracts was two-minute rounds. Now, now you're going to see somebody complain about the fucking video now that I said it. But nobody said nothing, and you didn't know, and a lot of y'all are calling it a classic, if not a battle of the year contender, if not at least bare minimum, a great back and forth, right? It's a two-minute round contract. I want to look at I want to look at 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 the, at the chat now, and I want I'm curious what will y'all say now that y'all know that Ill Will versus Aver was contracted at two minute rounds. I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay, I don't see anybody saying much about Aver versus Ill Will. I don't. Sounds about right. I agree with you, a fan. It's dope as usual. I agree with you. Some people got a verb first and third winning the battle. Look at this. And people say ill will wrapped longer than verb. Are we not proving these points about people flipping out about time limits? Look at this one. Verb 30. Yet will wraps longer and a verb and will both have a contract for two minute rounds. I'm gonna stop there, man. I thought I was gonna have to belabor this, but at least y'all are with me in the chat. I don't even gotta do too much. I guess I could just jump to the very last thing that I was gonna say because I really was gonna drag this out, but I see that in the comments and in the chat. I don't have to. So salute to y'all. Y'all gonna save me time today. Last point. Once again, I had no intention of even of even mentioning Rem. She was adamant. No, AR. I want you to, to tell fans that I said, tell bloggers, tell media, tell people that I said, anybody that has, any blogger or media that has a problem with the time limits, right? Or, or spending their money to watch the battle. She is willing to spend the money out of her own pocket to fly that particular person or persons out to the event live. Hotel and flight paid for by rent. And you can come in a building and see it in person, feel the energy, and see if you rock with the matchup or not. That was her literal offer. And I was on, I'm joking, like, ah, and I ain't. No, I need that said, AR, because I'm tired of motherfuckers talking shit. I want to see who's going to really step up to the plate and back the talk. And I'm like, all right. So I'm curious. Does anybody want to take Rem up on her offer? Are there any battle rappers, bloggers, or media that have been having a public issue with the time limits that would like to take her up on her free offer to be in a building and get you a nice spot on stage to watch the battle live free in the building? Hey, DM Rem, man. Don't shoot the messenger, all right? Two minute rounds. They ain't booked me for a long time. In 3D2. So it's, y'all know the rest.